Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss slider crank mechanism static force analysis. Determine the moment M necessary to hold the offset slider crank in the position shown against the action of the force P. So in this picture given is an offset slider crank mechanism. So the offset is H and this link is crank and length is L1 angle between horizontal and this link is theta. This link is coupler AB and length is L2. There is a force P is applied on the piston uh, at point B. So to hold this mechanism in this position, what is the amount of M moment about crank required? Uh, so in this uh, video, I am going to derive an expression in terms of M, P, L1, L2, theta and H. Let us see in the coming slides how to uh, do that. Let us call this angle, uh, angle between this coupler link and horizontal is alpha. Let us draw a vertical line from A onto this line here. Let us call that Y. So Y can be written as H plus L1 sin theta since this angle is theta. So from here to here, it will be L1 sin theta from here to here. It is H. So that is equal to L2 sin alpha. So this length is L2 and this angle is alpha. So this height will become L2 sin alpha. So that is written here. Y equal to H plus L1 sin theta. That is also equal to L2 sin alpha. So from this equation, we can find sin alpha. That is angle alpha sin alpha equal to H plus L1 sin theta by L2. Using this ex this expression, we will find we can find uh, angle alpha. Now let us see the forces. So here the force P is applied horizontally on the piston. So the component of force along this coupler link will be P by cos alpha since this angle is alpha. So the same force P by cos alpha will be acting along this coupler link. So uh, reaction this force. Uh, on this crank will be acting along this line P by cos alpha. So the vertical, uh, the uh, perpendicular distance between O and to this P by cos alpha uh, can be found by drawing a line uh, perpendicular to this line from O. So uh, since uh, this angle is alpha and this angle is theta, so this angle will become theta plus alpha. So if this angle is theta plus alpha, this length is L1. So this perpendicular length will become L1 sin theta plus alpha. Now for this crank OA, let us take a moment, uh, moments about O. So there is a force P by cos alpha is acting here towards this direction and perpendicular distance is L1 sin theta plus alpha that we have seen in the previous slide. So moment due to this P by cos alpha about point O will be P by cos alpha into L1 sin theta plus alpha. So that is written here P by cos alpha into L1 sin theta plus alpha. So there is a counter uh, moment is applied M uh, in the clockwise direction here. So then we can write sigma M O equal to zero. So M equal to M is uh, clockwise direction and this P by cos alpha will create counter clockwise moment. So M equal to P by cos alpha into L1 sin theta plus alpha. So let us expand this sin theta plus alpha. It will become sin theta cos alpha plus cos theta sin alpha. So here we have cos alpha that is kept here. So after simplifying this cos alpha cos alpha gets cancelled here and uh, sin alpha by cos alpha will become tan alpha. So M uh, that is a moment about O that is moment on this crank to hold this force uh, to counter this force to hold this mechanism in this position is equal to m equal to p into l1 into sin theta plus cos theta into tan alpha that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching